Today we're gonna make a quick video of if the enabled all filter is worth it, man. You guys have been asking, somebody wanted me to make a video on it. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick video on that, man. All right, so this just a few things I gotta go over, man. So this filter, great for people who can snipe over six hours every single day, man. It might be worth it for you to spend your six hours on this filter because it does go absolutely crazy. We made insane profit in a three hour video in three hours last weekend for a video. We made like 500K in three hours on this filter doing a video now uh, and I think I have an insane profit at this point so that's great if you can work six hours a couple things you guys need to know man it is insanely expensive I think when I originally bought this filter I think I spent like 2.5 to 2.7 million MT to set it up the very first time this is a brand new account so I had no cards so it cost me 2.5 to 2.7 million MT to set it up now I think I'm probably 4 million, 4.2 million into it two weeks later. Um, so you constantly need to be spending more and more MT to enable more cards. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Also, so expensive, man. This is also uh, might be, you might lean more towards getting this filter if you happen to have been playing my team all year and you have a lot of like season one, season two cards sitting in your collection, some of like the old golds and stuff, man, because they are insanely expensive. That's where most of the MT, I mean, obviously the bulk of it was on pink diamonds. I think it cost me 1.5 million to enable all the pink diamonds that are buy nows. Uh, but then you have all these old cards that are just so expensive, man. You'll be, it's like constantly paying 20K here for a gold card from season one because there's only one, two of them up, man. 8K, 10K here, man. Obviously every time a new card, like this, Jeff, I don't have this Jeff Hornacek in my collection right now because he hasn't popped up on here. Anytime someone decides they want to throw a card up for 100K, it's going to be on your filter and you're going to have to enable it, which in the case of the season one cards, man, they'll get thrown up for 100K often and then they'll be the only card up. So you can't enable it unless you literally want to pay 100K, which I just kind of refuse to. So keep that in mind, man. If you already have a ton of these cards, you might you know, want to lean more into working this filter and going ahead and buying it. So if you have the six hours a day, perhaps you already have a bunch of these older, more expensive cards because they're rare already. That's our plus to work this filter. Um, it is definitely like the best filter in the game. It, it goes absolutely crazy. There's a ton of profit to be made here. But if you literally cannot snipe at least five hours a day, don't even don't even grab it, man. Um, if you don't have the MT or not gonna want the MT to continue to keep the filter up, don't even grab it, man. For the most reliable and cheapest 2K23 MT, hit up my sponsor at NBA2King.com and use code GRINDS for 5% off. Also, if you need any grinding services, contact Rose NBA on Twitter. The link is in the description. All in all, I would say this filter is not worth it at this point of the year. If you're a content creator or something short or you can snipe a ton and you're willing to perhaps lose some MT in the end, like selling the cards back afterwards, maybe go ahead and grab it. At this point, man, pink diamonds are all going to be very cheap soon. I mean, already there's only like, what, four pink diamonds that are really snipes? Uh, you got Giannis, uh, D-Rob. I mean, the other snipes sometimes sell for profit. Sometimes they don't, man. I, I'm working on a video now and I have to keep taking away snipes because they keep underselling and only selling for 110, 108, 102. So um, it is risky. You lose MT that way too, man. Obviously I do this filter for content great filter for that man i get a lot of snipes um mt wise man if, if you're just better to just go ahead and work a budget filter work the oval filter oval filter is about to go crazy we just got the news we're getting six more opals tomorrow which is crazy um so obviously opal filter is going to be the way so all in all i would say no do not work this unless you specifically spend tons of hours on the filters every single day man that's the end of the video man hopefully that helps some of you guys i know you guys were asking man Y'all have a blessed one. Jay Grinds out. If you're looking for another great video, go ahead and click the video that's popping up on screen. It's guaranteed a banger.